Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you a web page that uh, we discovered in class the other day. This is over at beavery.com. And in particular, we thought their navigation menu was pretty cool. So they've got a small horizontal oriented menu, and the active page is indicated with this little graphic, this little cloud image. And as I move the mouse over different menu items, the cloud will slide over, reposition itself to that active menu item. And if I move my mouse away, the cloud graphic moves back to indicate the uh, active page that we're on. So for instance, if I was on the info page, that page is marked with the cloud. Now I can still mouse over these other items, but as soon as I move my mouse away, the marker goes back to the active page. And we thought that was pretty cool. Now they're actually using some JavaScript, looks like a little jQuery to make this, but I was wondering, I think there's a pure CSS way to create this. So I made a little mock-up for myself, and here's my version of it. And this is pure CSS, and I've got my five item navigation menu, unordered list, um, horizontal navigation menu created from an unordered list. And the active page, or the current page, is marked with a, with a visual aid and also a border color. If I mouse over another menu item, my little indicator follows along. And if I move my mouse away, it jumps back to the active page. And of course, I can click on an active page, and my dot changes or my disk changes there. So I can always keep track of where my active page is. So that's my pure CSS version. Now I'm not going to show you how I did this in the uh, in the video yet. So this video is kind of an open challenge for you to create. And uh, if you're one of my students in the advanced web development class, this will be an extra credit activity. Um, otherwise, just push yourself and see if you can create this. Um, what I'm going to be looking for is obviously make make a little five menu item, which means you'll need five pages. So go ahead and make a little mini five page website. Each one has the exact same HTML for the navigation menu. And I'm using one external CSS to control this. What I want to see is that the active page has this little visual indicator. You can use a disk like I did. It's simply a div square with border radius to make it circle shaped. Or you could use a graphic if you're so inclined. So that act, so the active page is marked with border change, font change, and some kind of a disk uh, or graphic. If I mouse over another menu item, that visual indicator slides over to follow where my mouse is indicating as such. And if I click and activate that menu item, that kind of locks in my visual indicator. One of the really subtle things I'm going to look for is as the user moves their mouse slowly in between two horizontal elements, I do not want to see the disk or indicator jump away to the active page. See, it's still over in my item two, and I slowly, and then pretty soon it'll jump over into item three. But it doesn't jump all the way back to whatever the active page happens to be. So I'm going to be looking for a nice, smooth transition from menu item to menu item and of course goes back to the source. This will work in um, Firefox and in Chrome, so get it to work in, in uh, both of those two browsers. All right, so that's your challenge. Here's what you're going for. Use uh, the Beavery site as kind of inspiration, and here's my pure CSS version to get it to behave this way, and in, my, uh, in a follow-up video, I'll show you the uh, CSS that I typed to create this. All right, take care.